And it's basically a bunch of girls saying, oh my god, men ain't shit. And a bunch of wannabe Sigma dudes that are like, never trust a woman. She will tear you to shreds. <laughs> and this type of culture is not. This shit's like mainly on TikTok, like if we're like being generally honest. Dating. Dating in 2024, it's in a very weird spot right now. I don't know how to feel about it. Mm. Well, it might be It's a good thing. I, I just, I recently here, just got a girlfriend. We've been dating for like, about, I want to say like seen two months now. Videos cause... talking about this topic. And that kind of makes God me wonder, is it really that bad? Well, we're going to find out in today's video. Now, as of recent, for whatever reason, people have been participating in this culture called gender wars. And it's all so weird to me. And it's basically a bunch of girls saying, oh my God, men ain't shit. And a bunch of wannabe Sigma dudes that are like, Never trust a woman. She will tear you to shreds. <laughs> and this type of culture is not- This shit's like mainly on TikTok. Like, if we're like being generally honest. Like, it's these females, beta, like males. And then the question of, oh, would a girl rather choose a man versus a bear? <laughs> I don't know why, but it's just like, for some reason, it continues to grow. And I'm just like- Oh God, this is like, like, this is so fucking stupid. Just please, for the love of God, TikTok, stop putting this in my For You page because this shit is so stupid. Not just on TikTok, it's all over social media. There's okay, it's like, not just on TikTok, but it's mainly on TikTok, in my opinion. Wars culture. They get a bunch of guests on and they argue back and forth about men and women. And now this doesn't really make any sense to me at all, honestly. And a lot less people are willing to be faithful to one person nowadays. You know that yeah. meme where people say, like, it's just your turn, lil' bro? That's just what happens with some people. <laughs> They want to live a promiscuous Just your turn, life. little bro. They want to be faithful to one person. So if your partner doesn't hold those values, then obviously they're going to cheat on you. Or if they get bored... It's a good thing I'm loyal. Whatever, it's a good thing I'm loyal. Gonna... It's it's a very good thing I'm loyal. because dating to be like this super fun and magical experience. Like and mm. that's what it is for like the first month. People kind of just expect it to be what it's like in the movies. We were just shown movies where people have these happy love stories. Growing up, I saw a lot of movies like this and it seemed like nothing could could ever go wrong and the moment something eh. goes wrong with the opposite gender that's where these people's hate stems from and if you go through like oh i hate i hate men because the guess what they're fucking because if you're hating the other person <laughs> and that makes you hate the opposite gender then you're just gonna eventually feel worse about yourself and just because some women look up to sexy red and they want to be promiscuous i'm not gonna hate them for it. i'm just not looking to be in a relationship with that type of person so you kind of have to sit down and realize what are your goals when finding a relationship and what and like kind of person like are you what are the standards are you're looking for like can i trust this like female or male to saying like stand near my standards or something uh, i don't really know need them of course we do there's a reason why every single one of you is on this earth right now and how else are we going to keep the population going dating apps now when it comes to dating apps about 70 percent of the users are male and 30 percent are female and now it's a good thing i'm still in school <laughs> I'm so glad I'm still in school, not gonna lie. Like, yeah, you go to school for education, but when you really think about it, you also somewhat go to school just to somewhat date someone, right? Like, hear me out, hear me out, hear me out. Like, it doesn't matter if you're, like, straight, gay, or, you know, any other, I don't know, like, sexuality. Like, look, like, let's be honest. Some, some some people really just go to school just to, like, date someone, and that's fine, because let's be honest, I wouldn't try to date someone I see every day in school for no reason. Then do online dating. Like, I have, like, so many online friends that have done, like, online dating before. Like, I'm not gonna explain the drama. But, I uh, just, like... I really would rather not, like, date someone online than, like, do it in person. I'd rather do in person, get to know you, get to see how you do, how, how are you feeling and all that, than, like, like online, and then I never know how you, like, you're doing or, or like, how, how your looks are. Like, I'd rather... Like, that's just me. If you do online dating, guys, that's... 
Now, of course, since majority of the users are men, girls have a lot to choose from. So only like the top 10% of people are going to get matches. And if you're not there, well, shit, you're out of luck. Out of and luck. Apps say Unless you try a different dating app. app. But that's a lot of bullshit. Because Tinder's not the only one. <laughs> now, I used these apps a couple years ago. In my time and experience using these apps, I barely got any matches, bro. And when I'd message the person, they would immediately unmatch me. Now, I'm Bye. not like joker ass <laughs> motherfuckers that's like, society is doomed. It's impossible to finds it's possible like any other platform it has an algorithm so you really have to understand it if you get swiped left on a shit ton of times they're just gonna push you to the bottom and you're not even gonna get any impressions on your profile and these girls have a lot more guys to choose from so it yeah makes it a lot harder for you to stand out with apps like tinder if your goal is to find it's usually tinder than like do, somewhat I, I don't know like app, whatsapp, WhatsApp or something say. i don't it know for being the or should probably t or twitter or instagram too because like you know you also do that too fishing and bots and there are pretty easy ways oh my god but he's a catfish the amount of the amount of catfishing slash like sexy bots that are on like instagram and twitter is just holy fucking insane like i'll be checking out someone's pictures or like a popular video go in the comments to see something oh no see some comments or see something funny and then randomly i'll be like hey click on my profile to see my only fans content or click on this for something sexy or some shit it's like it has nothing to do with the video or if they're a bot and i really gotta lock in on these methods if i ever decide to use a dating app again because i'm not trying to meet a dude named fucking daryl with a beer belly when i show up to the restaurant hey are you birdie what the oh. fuck me, you picked a really nice spot for this day i'm i'm leaving bro bye they'll usually have low quality pictures oh. and they really don't oh, have that no. much pictures on their profile and to be honest with you if you reverse search the image you could probably find them on google somewhere they probably took like an ig models photos but now with the bots of course there's a lot of people trying to promote their only fans on tinder it's a huge market on tinder which i had no idea about when i first downloaded it when i matched with some of these people they just dropped their snapchat and started talking to me and then after I was not gonna hold you when I said I only used Snapchat for like a month and then I like never I used it again and just deleted the app. So honestly, supporter. like the hell if someone asks me, hey, is this your Snapchat account? I'll be like, about dating that yeah, really but pisses me off is the whole I, ick thing. Like, no, that's I use Snapchat. I don't know how it works. This whole ick thing started out as a joke, right? But we have gotten to a point where there is a list of 700 icks that woman said, oh, guys can't do this. What if guys made a quote unquote ick list these same people would probably get pressed it's like i can't even breathe anymore without getting called a walking ick see this is the reason why this is the reason why on. if a girl ever makes really an ick list right this guy i'll be like please tell me in private don't tell them don't tell the public like i would rather knowing like privacy that i'm be like all right so i know don't have a i can't do this or i'll probably like eventually i'll like change i say don't change for like a female but it's like you know if it's something tiny then ever why would i want to do I'm keeping my phone protected. Despite costing a thousand dollars, you know how fragile iPhones are? The glass on it will shatter if you drop it from a couple feet in the air. I yeah, and I gotta hold you when I say, um, my, <laughs> my shits are wholly scattered. Like, bro, I can't you show. You cannot okay. say that yawning is an ick. Like, that is actually insane. Everybody the amount of females that do this shit about, is bro? very He's annoying, to too. Deal with it if you want to like, be oh, around people. I wonder ick. if there's girls that just have so they many can't love their mother. that it's, like, like, impossible for them not to get, quote, the ick and i'm sure there's people out there that do and at what point is it a like sorry it looks some like all right it's like it looks all right it looks all right uh, like understandable but sometimes it's entries. just and the reason why i say this is a huge oh, fucking annoying it's just hell of annoying it's just a bunch of random shit that just shouldn't even matter at all things that are red flags are like gaslighting not trusting you narcissism jealousy you get the point and it's crazy that people will actually not date somebody because they do one of these quote icks it's crazy that this thing started as a joke turned into this big tiktok trend absolutely yeah. insane but we are getting to a point where some girls don't even want to be approached anymore some of these girls have the mindset that like, like oh if oh why am i not approached by my males no more it's just so weird to me oh no how do you think people maybe you're acting like a bitch people had to grow some 
calls and go talk to them in person. You couldn't just swipe on a dating app. You actually had to go out and talk to them. And it's crazy that people have a problem with this. If somebody goes up to you and you have a boyfriend or you're not interested, then just say, sorry, I have a boyfriend or I'm not interested. It is what it is. It's fine. It's not the end of the world if somebody that's goes That's fine. Up. Like, if they can handle getting get reject rejected, list, then, like, you know, that's based, that's on them, but, like, you know. Just assuming that, like, these guys are creeps for going up to these girls, asking them out or even just like asking the most mundane question like you could be at a gym and a guy goes up to you and says hey how many sets do you have left these cloud hungry gym girls will film him and label him as a creep some people really say oh what's the worst that could happen the worst she could say is no i'm not trying to approach a girl and then end up in a jail cell 10 minutes later so i really don't know what to do at this point i'm not sure this could just be like a one in a million situation because these people are chronically online as hell and then guys are creeps just for glancing in their direction i'm the type of person to give people the benefit of the doubt so maybe i'm just not really seeing the vision with this one but in all honesty it's just really stupid to me so at this point i don't even know if i should try approaching a girl in public probably not there Especially if the girl has also like I don't know, I don't know if he's gonna mention this because like, I was like I'm thinking in my head wait this one thing he hasn't mentioned it and I'm like what if the girl has competed in a 23 v one like video swear to God swear thankfully I have a girlfriend right now thankfully I, I'm dating someone right now but knock on wood pray to God right if we ever do break up right if I date a girl if I if I'm looking into dating someone and they competed in a 20 v one challenge. I mean, have to end it right there i i may have to end right there in my opinion and in my opinion no disrespect i feel like because there's so many females and so many males that compete in like 20 v1s or 20 v like what three fours i'm just like oh yeah uh, uh, maybe not maybe not maybe not i i i can't date them maybe not because knowing what they did will know what they did and sometimes doing so much to actually get picked like twerk for the the male so they get picked or do something else it's like maybe we weren't gonna match maybe we aren't gonna match there are a variety of different options now rather than just yes and no i could end up in a tiktok video a girls group chat i could get laughed at in my face i feel like every male has has ended now. up in their girlfriends like really chat thingy and don't know but it's like it's about the pressure behind all this now it's a societal pressure that people expect you to get married by a certain age or get your first girlfriend by a certain age and in all honesty bro i'd rather get married as a 50 year old unk than to be unhappy I mean, that's in a fine. marriage at like 30 and of course i am not in a relationship right now and that probably Thanks for that i am and me. not gonna hold you mean i'm like a loser if i had to like say the age i want to get married at i'd probably say a little bit like mid 20s a little bit early 30s that's not what's on my mind that's like that's I'm like that's like, that's like the perfect itself, range to get like what married like crazy but as a have guy, children my like like, like in my opinion in my opinion because some downfall. people do it more people earlier sure but like remind me that i get no girls but i'm sure one day i will find that somebody maybe the next thing i want to bring up was couples in media or like celebrity couples now people think that everything is perfect. like whether it's drake or like some type of rapper i don't know some male with taylor swift like and think that nfl people Guys, it's just like. well that's not true at all because social media only highlights the good moments like Obviously, highlights the, the good but are kept behind closed doors there were a lot of celebrity couples eh, sometimes getting sometimes divorced, even though people were saying that this was relationship goals right in front of their own eyes there's going to be conflict at some point well it shouldn't be an emotional roller coaster either in mm. most situations you should be able to just talk it out and just get it figured out with your partner it should yeah. never be turned into this huge issue that's making the relationship crumble before us and then it gets really it high highlighted in the media and then everyone has to argue oh he didn't do it she didn't do it like <laughs> especially on twitter and if the female have i don't know a toxic ass like fan base expectations when it comes to looks as well and some dudes expect their girlfriend to just look like an ig model and that's not gonna happen bro and some of those pictures are photoshopped anyway or they got like some kind of photoshop hella filters perfect hella uh makeup and your partner are gonna make mistakes along the way it happens and like i said it's not like a like guy i want to date a girl that like yeah that she'll right wear makeup but without makeup come out of social media and she still looks pretty cute she's couple like, pranks and couple tests and i talked about it in this video right oh here, worst types I of tiktoks i was about to i was about to rant for a second hold up if you guys want me to watch watch that video please tell me in the comments because i'll actually watch that but hold up
So anyways, that was the video. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, but yeah. Yeah, social media has killed dating in so many different ways. Like whatever it's like 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 celebrity celebrity couples, like videos, like like the two he just mentioned, like uh what was it? Like couple testing or like dating videos. Or I don't, I don't know what he said. It's like shit like that and like 20 v in 20 v like videos that I'm just like, oh yeah, because it's like so hard. It's so hard to get into dating without having to deal with certain stuff. That's the reason why. I feel like whenever people say you should probably start dating in school, I'm like, see, that's not a bad idea. Like some people say you don't have to, but it's like, you know, sometimes that's not really a bad idea because it's like, you know, oh, you know, there's a bunch of different girls you can date in school, get to know them, and then like, you know, do a little bit of stuff with them because like yeah. You're hanging out a lot in school then sometimes you see them outside of school if you you know live close or you know you know have their like their stuff and all that and it's like so guys that was the video hope you guys enjoyed the video please subscribe the bell and just get notified when i upload a new video comment you guys remember Isaac. i don't know what do you guys think killed what's like the worst thing social media did to dating and i'll reply back if i you know have a response back so guys that was the video i'll see you guys later bye Oops.